I'm in the drive-thru right now at McDonald's because I came across this TikTok and I, if I can find it, I'll insert it. Hi, future editing Shana here. You can probably hear my ridiculously loud laptop in the background. As I'm trying to find this TikTok video for you guys, I can't find it. And now it's all coffee. I swear to God, when I saw this hack, somebody had like a Pepsi or a Coke. I could have sworn I saw somebody do it with an orange soda. So I can't find... As you can see, I probably put an example here with somebody doing it with coffee. I didn't try the coffee. I don't like coffee anyway, but anyway, back to the video. But somebody call, went to McDonald's and took an ice cream cone and in our, in our case, uh, orange soda, and they put the ice cream in the orange soda to basically make a float, and it looks so good. So we're here to try it. I really want to try it. <coughs> uh, little man here just came back from daycare. Alright. I'm gonna pull over for just a second to get us situated, get him his ice cream cone. I know, buddy, I know you see it. Hold on. I'm gonna take my orange soda. Don't spill it everywhere. Put myself in the park real quick. So basically. Relax, I promise. I promise I'm giving you some. <laughs> Hold on, let me take off the paper. <laughs> there. Oh no. I'm sorry about the AC, but it's literally almost 100 degrees today. Oh my god. Can't mess around with it too much because it's going to overflow, but oh my gosh. Okay. Problem is, mine needs to be mixed a little bit more, but... Good. I mean, it tastes like a creamsicle, kind of what I expected it to taste like, but definitely try it. Welcome to <laughs> welcome to day number two of decorating my son's room. Oh, you can see I got a little bit more done off camera because I was struggling and I didn't want to see you watch me struggle. Uh, anyway, I got this picture up just over his crib super duper cute and then on this side i'm now working on i just put this lantern up but my vision there seems to be a little more space than i initially wanted between the edge of this and the beginning of the lantern but my thought is that inside the lantern was going to be big like foliage anyways because this whole theme is like you need some more he's in the room with me and he's having a go-gurt is he yummy <laughs> on a really hot day i like to freeze these the baby loves them anywho so yeah so i'm gonna have to make my way to hobby lobby at some point to get some filler so i'm hoping it'll kind of like like fountain out of the lantern you know what i mean so the gap isn't so like there there's also the option of even buying i have a little piece of like garland foliage i could also buy that and kind of staple it to the edge of this brown thing i don't know i marked the holes for the next lantern i'm just gonna put it up but i followed a hack on tiktok where let me show you actually basically i took this piece of painter's tape and i took the back of my lantern so I laid the tape on the lantern, marked where the holes were, right? That's all I did so far. Hi, honey. And then I taped it to the bottom Hello. of my level. I know. <laughs> I know. And then I held it up to the wall. I'll demonstrate. I held it up to the wall. I could see exactly where my marks were on the side with the tape. And then I could also make it level all at the same time. Super duper easy. It saved my walls, a lot of holes. I got two more screws. So like I said, I've already marked the holes off camera. You can barely see them. They're like right above this lamp. Ideally, I wanna move the lamp, but I'm lazy. So we're not gonna move the lamp. 
Instead, we're going to drill right over it. Okay, so there's the two screws. Excuse me, honey. Excuse me, honey. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna take my light. Oh God, I just ripped the freaking screw. Okay. All right, it's definitely just the, can it's the angle of my camera that makes that one look way higher than that one. Although, oh. yeah, okay. From standing back here, I swear it's all level. It looks great. Hi, but, oh, you're making a mess. We're gonna need these. <laughs> Next wall I wanna work on is the one directly behind me. So let me see where I can put you guys. Okay, I hope you guys don't mind hanging out in my son's crib. This was literally the best spot to put you guys. Okay, not the best spot, but we're going to make it happen. We're going to do this wall next. And this wall is going to have this mirror. Hi, honey. Oh, it's going to have this mirror first. So this is our main focal point. So we're going to get this up and centered. <laughs> Hunter, no, not the mirror, honey. Off the mirror. Off the mirror. Off the mirror ball. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take a piece of tape. With my new piece of tape marked, again, I'm going to tape it to the bottom of the level. I could honestly get really precise at measuring this wall, but I'm going to eyeball it based on the bureau. Okay. Okay. Right, so I'm going to clean up fingerprints and everything after. Um, and the only way that I could hang it was this way. It has no, it has no hooks to hang horizontally, like landscape mode. We're in portrait here, but it's still really cute. I also have these, which might end up going on either side, like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of struggling with this wall. I have an idea, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm not sure how to hang them. I'm gonna try using command strips first and see if I can get them to stick that way. If not, I'm probably gonna have to nail it in. So I'm sticking two of these command strips together. Peel off. Peel off one side and I'm gonna attempt to stick it like back here so hopefully you won't really be able to see it. I just don't know how strong these things are, if it's actually gonna hold up or I'm gonna have to go back and nail it later. I guess we'll find out. <gasps> that actually worked. <gasps> I really hope that stays. I know the wire to the baby monitor is ugly and obviously the painter is tape, but that looks so cute. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Yay. Okay, I'm losing him. We're gonna have to do the mesh tomorrow and then I will show you guys a pretty much final result, hopefully as well tomorrow, but we'll see. You'll be a very cranky. You'll be 
fairly clean. You gotta go downstairs and start some dinner. You're being very cranky. Why are you being so cranky? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>